Okay, welcome to another episode of Shooting Stars. Fiona, would you like to just introduce yourself to the audience? Um, hi, I'm Fiona and I'm in SEC 2 this year. And I'm from Sia Girls Secondary School and my, bas- my CCA is basketball. Okay, because I understand Sida has got the IP and the O-level yeah. route, right? So which one are I'm you in? in the O-level track. Okay, uh, so Fiona has been with My Stretcher since primary 5. Yeah, and you have been attending quite a number of subjects at My Stretcher. Yeah, what yeah. Are the subjects? English, math, science, and higher Chinese. Okay, that's for mm. secondary, is yeah, it? Yeah, secondary. How about primary? In primary, mm. I only attended science, actually. Mm. Okay, do you feel the My Stretcher curriculum helped you in any way for your PSLE? Yeah, definitely. Um, Because I was actually struggling in science during primary school, so mm. uh, after joining My Stretcher, I actually improved a lot. And... Once I got into secondary school, I decided to continue uh, to join my stretcher because I think it really helps me in my schoolwork and mm. my, all my exams also. Mm. Well, you mentioned that you were quite weak in your science yeah. uh, before attending my stretcher, but how did the my stretcher science <laughs> curriculum help you in improving your grades? Uh, I think all the worksheets and practices, they actually uh, helped me like uh, teach me how to answer the questions well because that was the part I was struggling with most in science because my answer were like always not fully like correct so mm. um, after my teacher like taught us the correct method and also learning all the concepts better I could answer them properly so like I could score more in mm. doing the science paper. Mm. You attended some boot camps for PSLE as well? Yeah. How do you find the boot camps? Do they help you in your PSLE? Yes, definitely. It's it summarizes all the topics that I learned, and then it's very easy for me to like look through and like revise before mm-hmm. the exam. It's mm-hmm. very like organized, so then it's easier for me to like yeah revise for the exam, which helped me also a lot. Mm, okay, I'm sure you did well for your PSLE, and uh, mm-hmm. you know got into a school of your choice, right? You want to let us know a little bit of um how these uh, subjects that have been taught at my stretcher help you for your schoolwork? Yeah. Every time I go for my stretcher lessons, we have practices almost every week. So like, it makes, it like, uh, helps me practice my uh, skills on these essays because usually in school, um, our teachers only give us essay practices a lot. Not very often because we have to conduct lessons. So mm. like, uh, I get my practices from my stretcher also, which um, makes, uh, helps me be more prepared for my paper one exams for English and Chinese. Mm. And then for math, I get to practice a lot of questions with all my concepts because in school we don't have much time. So like mostly you have to do your own self-learning. But in my schedule, I get like additional practice. And also if I don't understand anything, I can ask my teacher as well. Mm. How about the science? Oh, uh, for science, I think it helps me also like for in terms of the content. Because in school, like mostly the teacher just go through the textbook and slides. I don't really, I might not understand fully, but mm-hmm. then my structure notes are very like detailed and like organized, uh, like between each topic. So like mm-hmm. I also can uh, revise better, and it also helps me in all my mm-hmm. yeah school work and mm-hmm. exam. So I saw that you also attended some of our um, writing yeah. webinars, right? Yeah, how, how do you think that helped you or do you think that is something you're weak in? Yeah, actually my um, writing is not very good. So after attending all the webinars for these writing classes, I think I, I got some useful tips from there and I tried to use them in my essays and all and I think it also helped me pull up my marks a little. You're already um, in the second year in secondary school. Yeah. What CCA are you in and how are you managing your time? Um, I'm in basketball CCA mm-hmm. and... We actually have CCA about three times a week mm. and it's usually until like six, six o'clock in the evening. So by the time I reach home, it's quite late. So mm. I, uh, before CCA, I try to finish up all my schoolwork as much as possible so that when I reach home, I can have uh, more time to rest and get ready for school the next day so that I can um, you know, focus in class better. And I think uh, the tuition also helps me because when I have tuition, I get to like understand all my things better. So when I do my homework, it's also much easier because mm. my teacher is like teaching ahead a bit ahead of school, so I get to learn them first. And then in school, when I do all my work, it's actually much easier, and I understand a lot of things already. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
many students actually are in your shoe, la, you know, they have CCAs and in secondary school, CCA can take up to about three times in a week. A lot, yeah. And actually, each session is between two to three hours, yeah, right? three hours. Yeah, so actually in sports especially, you feel very tired, la, yeah. I think, at the end of your CCA. So many students like her will use the time before CCA, right, to yeah. finish up your homework so mm -hmm. that you have other time at night to do your other revision. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Fiona, would you want to share with anybody who are in the lower secondary, right, how they can, you know, plan their studies better so that they can continue to get good grades? For me, usually I write out uh, like a time plan for myself. Wow, okay. Because I feel like I'll be more like organized in that way. So I usually um, assign some time, like what I would do, example, for like... um. If I reach home at 7 o'clock, I, mm. I will write there like 7 to 8. Maybe I'll eat dinner and bathe. And then from 8 to 9, depending mm. on what homework I have that day, mm. I will allocate the amount of time for me to do homework. But in between, I also like give myself short breaks mm. so that like I can rest before uh, moving on to the next one. And I think it really helps me manage my time properly and I get what I need to do done. That's very yeah. good. Yeah. Not many students at your age is doing that, you know. <laughs> so you're doing a fantastic job. Do you do that on a daily basis or weekly basis or monthly basis? I usually do that on days where I have like a lot of homework. Because some days if like I only have a bit then I can quickly mm. like finish it and mm -hmm. it's not very mm -hmm. difficult to do so. But then when I have a lot of things, like sometimes I also forget that I have this homework to do. So I think it's uh, better for me to write it down. So mm. it depends also on the days like if I have more homework or less. Mm. Yeah. Do you plan like that for like an upcoming exam? Mm, oh yeah, before exams, like there are some weekends or holidays, right? I also assign like each day mm -hmm. for like a, a certain subject of revision to do if that exam is coming soon. So yeah, it also depends on like the different time and days. Yeah. Okay, that's very, very great. You know, it's, 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 it's a very good habit, you know, that you start to do when you're young because when you go out to the working world, that's exactly what you have to do because there will be so many things to do in a day, right? So that's when you plan and you get a lot of things done. Okay, by the way, Fiona, did you attend uh, the motivation webinar conducted by teacher Wei Lun? Yeah. What's your takeaway from the webinar? Um, I think it really taught me like uh, the different ways to manage my time also. And, and I also got some useful tips like how to set my goals yes. and things like that. Yeah. Mm. I think I can use it um, upcoming for my some of my exams also. Uh, thank you so much for coming down here to share with us and uh, we really hope that you know you apply all the tips and we want to see you in future to be somebody yeah then we invite you again for your sharing <laughs> okay thank you so much and wish you all the best thank you.